today we are looking at actual footage of the Giga Tesla, the defense that sits on top of Town Hall 12. I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know about it, and we'll take a look at it across all the different levels, including that extra damage it does upon exploding. Hey, what's up guys? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Welcome to the next sneak peek video. As you guys know, I'm going to be covering as much of the update as possible, and the next bit is out. Actual footage of this town hall defending. As you guys know, it has five different levels um, that you can upgrade it to. We saw that in the last sneak peek, and at each level, new stuff happens it gets stronger but there's also new features it can have more targets let's look at some actual footage of it being attacked it's going to be a very thorough video you guys will know everything you need to know um, you can see giants will target it like it's a defense but it first has to be activated so what activates it if it gets uh if it takes any damage from a troop that will activate it, including balloon crashes. Any type of damage to the town hall will activate it, as well as if 50% of the village is destroyed, that will also activate it. Otherwise, it just sits there and it's left alone like a normal town hall. But as you can see, because it is activated, balloons, giants, everything targeting it like a defense, but of course the Lava Hound will go to the air defense because that's its main target priority. You can see the range of the... Uh, defense there it's roughly the same as a cannon just kind of eyeballing it um, but of course things are still subject to change go ahead and take it out with the king here but you can see it's dealing quite a bit of damage let's go ahead and move on to the next level of the giga tesla level two and see exactly how it's different um, as you can see guys it has multiple targets uh, look at the giant there though it walks past because it has not yet been activated, therefore the giant does not see it as a defense. Um, it does not target the minion until the minion attacks it, then it turns on. Now any defensive targeting troop will automatically see it as a defense like those balloons. But you can see it can hold multiple targets um, at a time. Right now at level 1 and 2, it looks like it can hold two targets. Uh, we have a Valk attacking it. Look how quickly these Valks go down. Um, keep in mind we're using Town Hall 10 level troops to attack it in this video. So Town Hall 11 and uh, whatever troops are at Town Hall 12, keep in mind they'll probably be, have more hit points, do more damage. So it might look a little more powerful than it actually is, as well as the numbers are subject to change before the update comes out. So right there, the archer targets, boom, switches uh, the giants into uh, seeing it as a defense. This is the level three Giga Tesla, and you can see it targets three troops at a time. So we have the switch, um, going from two to three, the uh, Giga Tesla now targets three troops. And you can see how quickly it took out those balloons. Um, this thing is going to be a nightmare for balloons because it shoots so fast, it can hold multiple targets, and it is very high in hit points because it's the town hall itself. Um, so right here, it takes out the level 40 queen, no problem. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and get it taken out here. Uh, those witches go down very quickly too um, because they can't spawn the skeletons in time. Anyway, the king will finish it off. We'll move on and take a look at the level four um, in action. Go ahead and activate it with a minion. It lights up. Um, not a whole lot changes between level three and four. Once again, it can hold three targets. So levels one and two, you're gonna be able to hold two targets for now. Levels uh, three and four can hold three targets. Once again, everything is possibly subject to change. Uh, depending on how it's balanced before it's actually released to all the players. Uh, but those balloons, I'm telling you, this is going to be something that's very difficult to uh, to have up at the end of the attack. You're going to want to get this out taken out quickly because it's so tanky and it does so much damage. The multiple targets is brutal. It's like a multi-inferno that, that deals just way more damage than a multi-inferno. Even with the golem tanking, it doesn't really work because it can have those multiple targets. So anyway, the golem will explode and take it out let's move on to level 5 giga tesla um, activate it with the goblin the goblin still does target it um, as a town hall because it targets the town hall since it holds loot regardless of whether or not it's been activated so keep that in mind if it matters for you now it holds four targets at level five so that's the maximum amount it looks like it's going to hold for now 
and uh, that thing looks very intimidating but wait there's a special thing at level five you guys will see when it explodes um, watch it take out these healers though these giants things are just dropping like flies honestly um, trying to take out this uh, town hall here okay so we'll finally get taken out here dropping a few extra hogs maybe um, some additional troops to finish this thing off there's a baby dragon, few witches, Valk, and um, this might just get it taken out, but check this out. That thing on the top falls down and explodes, and you can see it took out the entire uh, remaining health of that golem. As you guys know, golems do not break in half easily, and the golemites also took damage. Um, this does not affect air troops, so it does this suicide damage um, like a bomb tower. But it does not affect air troops as of yet. It, that might be subject to change, but this is just how it currently is on the uh, version that we have access to. Let's send a bunch of mid hit point troops at it Valks, Giants, Bowlers, Witches, and check this out. Boom. Witches are gone, Bowlers are gone, Valks are almost dead, Giants are also almost dead. That just shows the power. This is like a giant bomb times three. Now keep in mind, uh, it hogs at um, Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12. How is this going to affect that? Um, if you're attacking a max Town Hall 12, can you use hogs? Uh, the numbers aren't in, so maybe a hog can survive, but that was a lot of damage, and I'd speculate that this could take out an entire pack of hogs, even under heal spell at full health. But we'll have to wait and see for the exact stuff when it comes out. But the point is, that thing does some serious damage. Um, let's go ahead and see this thing right in the middle of the base here. We're going to go back to the level 3 version just to have kind of ones in the middle here. And this first replay, um, not going to show too much because you can see it just doesn't do anything until it hits 50%. As long as no balloons fall on it, as long as no lava pups target it as they explode, the town hall is just fine chilling right there. Um, I'm thinking though people are going to start putting their town halls closer to the middle of the base possibly to, because it's such a valuable defense to have. It's so high in hit points and it does um, significant damage to multiple targets. But like the eagle, um, it only activates at certain requirements. The difference is the eagle is based on how much troops you deploy. This is based on whether or not it takes damage or whether or not 50% of the base has been destroyed. 49% uh, coincidentally was destroyed on that one. Let's go ahead and um, try something else. We're going to do a queen walk. This way we can pick up some percentage and then once we activate the 50% uh, mark we can see the uh, town hall doing some action in the uh, actual base itself. So um, we will just have the queen take out as much as we can, maybe use some minions and uh, then we will see how this Giga Tesla can uh, do some work, especially on balloons. I think balloons are going to be in trouble. Um, hogs, maybe even more so with that explosive damage. But who knows, maybe when the update comes out, it'll also target air troops. Um, it's too early to speculate the details of how the Giga Tesla is going to work. That um, suicide damage, which is very, very significant. We're talking multitudes of the bomb tower. Um, we'll have to wait and see how that, how that pans out when the updates released. So we'll fast forward, um, Queen gets some decent value before she goes down, then we'll just send a Laloon into this base here and see um, the Tesla or the Giga Tesla light up here. Um, we're at 48%. Balloons are gonna take out some of this. There we are, 50%. You can see um, its range is a little bit strained because the air sweeper is gonna start pushing things away, which is really annoying. But right, the king's there, boom, locks onto the kings, taking out these barbarians like crazy. And every time a few balloons creep in, they are automatically being targeted along with the king. Uh, so they're taking out the healers quickly. Just an all-around solid defense. The range is also pretty decent on it. Um, it is not like low range by any means. Just like I said from eyeballing it, it looks to be about the same as a cannon, but um, that's not an exact number, so don't quote me on that. Okay, so this replay will wrap up, and that is pretty much going to be it for this video. Hope you guys are excited to see the Giga Tesla come into Clash of Clans and do some work at Town Hall 12. We'll have to see what offensive components uh, are also at Town Hall 12 to maybe counter this powerful defense, maybe in a future sneak peek. But from uh, the schedule so far, these sneak peeks have been coming out quickly. Um, Supercell has been releasing a lot um, very quickly. So hopefully there's more information, uh, more footage we can show soon. And I uh, hope you guys are excited for the update. Thanks for watching this one, though. 
and uh, be sure to subscribe if you're not already for future sneak peeks on the new Town Hall 12 update. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.